That was a good round of wrestling. I like your style. Haha, <laughs> how much have you flatter me? I will not lose focus in my next round. Come on, I don't need to flatter you. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha. <laughs> uh, how was this round? You are too good on your whole. Need to learn that a bit more from you. Come on, now you're flattering me. There they are, Ramu and Chambu, doing what they like the most, wrestling. Not just what they like the most, but what they are best at in all the ten neighboring kingdoms. Year after year, they have been winning the Shiromani Pehalwan Award. They are the best Pehalwans any king will be proud of having in his kingdom. Our benevolent Emperor Bharumarathi is so proud of Ram and Shambhu and no wonder that's why our Emperor has gifted them own houses and also showered them with 200 gold coins for every win. A Ram and Shambhu, looks like you just finished practicing. Do you never get tired of your practice? You get so involved in it, you never know how time flies by. Your mother has been looking for you since morning. And why do you guys keep changing your practice ground every week? You make it so difficult for someone looking for you. Mom! Oh gosh, we are supposed to accompany her to the neighboring kingdom for a wedding. I'm not going to come home now. She's going to be really, really furious. And this is the sixth wedding she's missing just because of us. You fight the toughest of warriors like wild lions. But in front of your mother, you both are like scared mice. <laughs> there is. Nothing to laugh about. Whatever you are to the outside world, you will always be a child to your mother. What was that sound? Very strange. Never heard a sound like this before. Hey, who are you? Never seen you before in our kingdom. Hey, people of the Kandayan kingdom. Does anybody here have the strength to challenge me in a fight? I have defeated all the so-called strong warriors in all the neighboring kingdoms. People defeated by me have become my slaves for their lifetime. Do any of you have the strength or guts to challenge me in a fight? I am called the giant. Ha ha ha! You are a giant? Have you ever seen yourself in a mirror? Oh, I perform this clown set to the market square. You are sure to make a good fortune. <laughs> what happened to your laughter? It ceased all of a sudden. I had heard that there were many brave hearts in Emperor Karuna Ratne's empire. It's a shame that I haven't spotted even one since my arrival into your kingdom this morning. People here seem to only get petrified on seeing me and begin running helter-skelter when they hear my grunt. Dear self-claimed giant, don't become too overconfident. Power and strength should use to protect and not to scare. Ha! Ah, now you are trying to sweet talk. Are you scared to fight me? I heard that you are the best wrestlers in all the neighboring kingdoms. Guess you have not met your best match yet. We are giant. Mind your talk. We don't cheat up anyone. How dare you talk to me like that. If you have the guts, then fight me. If I win, you will be my slave 
for your lifetime and if i lose i shall be yours for my lifetime don't waste time talking fight or just surrender <laughs> what happened now what are you both doing that hiding behind that bush we are not wrestlers please do not do anything just me and farmers please don't harm us people of the kandyan kingdom are already begging <laughs> i am impressed but do not worry i am a true warrior i do not fight with a common man go tell your emperor that his best wrestlers are nursing their bruises if he doesn't have any others to challenge me ask him to surrender and become my slave go My dear ministers, I am happy to note that all in our empire are leading a very happy and peaceful life. The people of Kandyan completely trust you, Your Majesty, for you have proved yourself to be their best ruler in the last two years. No neighboring country has ever dared to attack us. Punishments. have been made severe if anyone is caught doing anything illegal or unethical yes your majesty for the past 2 years under your able guidance the empire has gained prosperity in multi folds your majesty your shrewd thinking skills have always kept our enemy kingdoms guessing and none of them dare to attack us Your Majesty, Minister Andare is not in court today, and there is no intimation about this in the registry room. The registry room head was inquiring on the same. I have told him that I shall talk to you and get back. Guard, having to inform the registry room head, I had asked you to inform me of the same yesterday night itself. Well, Your Majesty, I was the Twice was the registry room, but the registry room head was out on both occasions. As she had told me that this matter was highly confidential, I did not share the same with any other staff of the registry room. Good work that you did not share the message with anybody else, guard. Minister Andare will join us shortly. Your Majesty, there has been some disturbance in our northern borders. My special spy brought this information to me this morning. The adjoining kingdom ruled by King Shivaratne has advanced their troops by 300 meters towards our border. I suggest we should not leave this matter unattended and deal the same with utmost urgency. Your Majesty, may I speak on this issue with your permission? Of course. Yes, please go ahead. So according to my sources, The defense battalion of King Shivaratne will not match one fourth of our battalion. I really don't understand why he moved his troops three hundred meters to our border. Your Majesty, if you remember last year, King Shivaratne joined hands with traitor Krishna Padma. Together, they hatched a plan to attack us with the help and support of two other adjoining kingdoms. Yes, I remember that well. It was our very strong and efficient spy team that got us this information, even as they were hatching the plan. This gave us enough time to decide our response if they decided to attack. Ha! Huh. But when they came to know that we were already aware of their plans, they decided to back off silently. Yes, Your Majesty. Don't you think we need to do something about this King Shivaratne? He never seems to be learning from the past experiences. You have been a bit over considerate and patient with him. Pardon me for my comment, but I really think it is necessary that we do something about him. His habit of constantly hatching some plan or the other against us is becoming a constant threat to us. Just because he is married to a distant cousin of mine, King Shivaratne thinks that I will not take any severe action against him. He needs to realize that I respect the law of the land and the safety 
and the safety of my people and will do anything to safeguard them. I will never change my thoughts even if my family responsibilities come in my way. My duty first is to my people and then only to my family. Long live Emperor Karunaratne. Long live Emperor Karunaratne. Hmm. We will take a decision on how to respond to King Shivaratne's army movement once Andare comes. He should be here shortly. Thank you for your time, ministers. You may leave. Do not allow the here without prayer permission. Don't you know that they put into the dungeons for trying to enter here without permission? Please, this is of utmost urgency and we need to meet His Majesty. His Majesty cannot be met just like that. You need to go to the proper protocol. Please meet the administrative head for all civil related issues. Please, this is not a mere civil related issue. This is a security disturbance and prestige related issue to our empire and our emperor. Then in that case, please meet the defense head and I'm sure that he will be able to help you. Do not worry, Emperor Karunaratne has everything under control. No kingdom can cause any harm to our empire or our emperor. Now please inform your consent to the defense head and I'm sure that he will be able to help you. Now please go, but not allowed here for a long time. It's not a kingdom that is causing worry. It is a single person who is causing the worry. He is a giant. What? A single person? A giant? Are you out of your wits? No. He is right. A single man claiming himself to be a giant has challenged Ramu and Shambhu. Ah, Ramu and Shambhu should have taken care of him. Why are you both here then? Ramu and Shambhu lost in the challenge and are now nursing their bruises. What? Ramu and Shambhu lost? Pardon me, Your Majesty. I didn't mean to be so loud. What was it that you just said? Ramu and Shambhu lost? To whom? And where? I was never informed about any contest this week and they have never gone for any contest without informing me. What is this guard? Your Majesty, the two of them here have the information that you are asking for. Let them in at once. Your Majesty, a man Claiming himself to be a giant has entered our empire and is now threatening all of us. What about Ramu and Shambhu? Ramu and Shambhu tried to stop his advances, but he defeated them so easily. He is no ordinary person. He must really be a giant as he claims himself to be. He has defeated all the so-called brave warriors in the neighboring kingdoms. The worst part is, people defeated by him become his slaves for their lifetime. Not just that, Your Majesty, he has challenged you and the Empire. He has challenged you directly and said that if no one in this Empire can defeat him, uh... Go on, why did you stop? Then all in the Empire, include you, must become his slave for his lifetime. How dare you challenge the Emperor? Your Majesty, give me your command and I will handle the so called giant. Wait. Don't rush, Tegar. I appreciate your loyalty to the Emperor. This is the time to think and act and not to be hasty. If he has defeated Ramu and Shampoo easily, then there is something about the so called giant. Let's see what, what we can do. Your Majesty and Minister Andare, I think I have a great idea. Why don't we send a part of our army and capture this giant and then we can decide what to do about him. No, no, that will bring disgrace to our Majesty. People will start talking that Emperor Karnatne was afraid of the giant and sent in whole army to attack a single person. It is not wise to send an army. 
hear andare then why don't you suggest what needs to be done your majesty i am prepared to challenge the giant if i am permitted to do so andare are you sure what you are just expressing didn't you hear what those two people had to say Majesty, if you permit me, I will take on the challenge. I am aware of the consequences. Hmm. So the boy is to send Andare. The giant will crush him into a pulp. But Andare is determined to fight the giant. Yes, I have no other alternative. By all means, fight him and save the dignity of my kingdom. I'll give you anything you ask for. Your decisions have never let us down, and we all trust you for that. Your Majesty. Please put me and the giant in two adjoining rooms. We may give us the choicest foods for one month. At the end of the period, I will fight the giant. So be it. Guards, please make the required arrangements. Here, yeah, uh, Mr. Giant, the food is by your choice. Give me that. <laughs> Uh, now go bring me more food. But uh, I have got you watered on, and now you're passing fresh orders. How dare you talk to me like that? I was promised the choice yesterday of food as per my choice. Uh, now go bring me more food. Respected Minister Amdarisa. The food as per your choice. Sir, pick a sharp knife. The best we can find in our defense arsenal. But why would you need that, sir? The food is well cooked. Ah, uh, well, just like that. Do you think you can help me? Of course, yes, sir. Minister Andare, sharp knife as you had requested for. Thank you. It's fine. Thank you. Now this trick will do the trick for me. Hope this will save the dignity of my emperor. Sir, can you give me some beach in time? Because I have finished my stuff. Of course, I can bring you what you want. But the problem is, we are separated by a huge wall. Don't worry about that. I will now break the wall with my fist, and you can pass the beacon line through the hole. Oh my God! He seems to be so strong. He is able to break that wall with just a single punch. Oh God! He is too strong. I can't stay here anymore. <laughs> the day of the challenge has arrived. Our honorable minister Andare will be fighting the giant. You are all requested to assemble here to witness the fight. Let us all cheer for our minister Andare. He is he is putting his life at risk to save the dignity of our emperor and the country and empire. Long live minister Andare. Long live minister Andare. Emperor ka Karuna Ratne arrives. Guard, go please find the giant. He is late. Yes, Your Majesty. Majesty, the giant seems to be missing. I think he has escaped and run away. He escaped and run away. Yes. Hmm. I think I know what happened, God. Okay. I hope it's good. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Andare. Once again, you stepped in to save the dignity of my kingdom. Long live our just and kind Emperor Karnataka! Long live our clever Minister Andare! Yeah.